When you think of comfort foods, what comes to mind? Well, today, we're scouring the state in search of the tastiest, mouthwateriness, cheesiest foods in Wisconsin. I'm not sharing. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This episode of Discover Wisconsin, America's Dairyland, is brought to you by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. America's Dairyland is your land. Hi everyone, and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Want to know where to find the tastiest mac and cheese around? Or a tempting cheese fondue. How about some Wisconsin beer cheese soup? Or some fresh, deep fried Wisconsin cheese curds? Or how about everyone's favorite, the grilled cheese sandwich? No matter where you're traveling in the state, we'll help you find your new favorite Wisconsin cheesy food. Join us for a bit, for a bite. Wisconsinites love our cheese, and we'll eat it whenever we can get it. Whether it's hot or cold, we'll find a way to make it work in any meal. Most of us can remember from an early age, noodles smothered with Wisconsin cheese being on our family dinner tables. I know it's been on mine for as long as I can recall. So we start our journey with a quintessential favorite, macaroni and cheese. Our first stop takes us to a new restaurant in Wisconsin Dells. To say Max is devoted to this iconic Wisconsin meal would be an understatement. Well, we knew we had a killer mac and cheese recipe, something we've had in the family for years. And eventually we just said, you know what? We really think this would go well with anyone, uh, families, young adults, whoever. Uh, we really thought the mac and cheese concept would work. Oh boy, does it ever. Starting with a secret family sauce featuring several, we can't tell you how many, Wisconsin cheeses, small batches are made throughout the day. It's sure to please any pasta and my family. All right, so what's the verdict? What'd you, what'd you guys think? Good. Really good. Really good? Have you had mac and cheese like this before? No, never. No? What's your favorite part about what you got? Um, how it's nice and crispy. And super cheesy? Yep. Mm-hmm. Loaded with sauce and toppings of your choice, it comes out of the oven bubbling hot and ready to be devoured. All right, so we already know my family loves mac and cheese here. Let's see what some other families around here think as well. We've got the Lax family and the Smith family. So what's the verdict, guys? What do you think? Delicious. This is a big macaroni and cheese family, so yeah. you couldn't pass it up. You guys must be from Wisconsin if you're a big mac and cheese family. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should have known, right? So, but it looks like the kids love it. All the adults love it, I think, as much if not more than the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> If you love mac and cheese, no matter your age, you'll definitely want to make a stop at Max to feed your craving. Now, if you're looking for mac and cheese with a little twist, you need to head to the Fox Valley. Built in 1858, the Stone Cellar Brew Pub in Appleton is the oldest operating brew pub in the state. With that in mind, their secret ingredient may not be so secret. So I can already tell this mac and beer cheese is going to be something I'm going to love before I even try it. Any tips for me before I dive right in? Just dive right in and enjoy the bacon and cheese and beer. So what inspired you to, to combine the two? Uh, basically I was looking to develop more recipes using our beer um, and I found that people really wow. enjoy beer and cheese and bacon and sausage. It's amazing. So I combined all of them together in one dish. You have done a superb job Chef Brady. Now, I can already tell there's more than one cheese here, right? There is. What do we've got? We have Havarti, cheddar, pepper jack, and smoked gouda. It's incredible. This is Wisconsin in a dish. <laughs> Stone Cellar's mac and beer cheese is a favorite among pub customers. And here's why. Well, it's so satisfying. <laughs> and it's ours is, I think, unique enough because we use four different cheeses. We add the andouille sausage to give it a little kick. and. Uh, it's just a treat. What's your favorite way to eat mac and cheese? Let us know on our Facebook page. Need some suggestions? Just download a map of all the destinations we're featuring today by logging on to discoverwisconsin.com and choosing America's Dairyland as your destination. So where are we going after the break? Do you fondue? Well, 
I do. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss what's next. Welcome back to America's Dairyland, where we're discovering Wisconsin's cheesiest foods. In Wisconsin, you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who doesn't like melted cheese. So, we decided to check out a few places that do it in style. First stop, Glarner Stuba in New Glarus, where they stir up a traditional fondue that makes you think you're in Switzerland. Grab a seat at any table and they'll make you feel right at home. What's that? You're not exactly sure how to fondue? No worries. All right, Jim, so now you gotta tell me, what is the proper way to eat this? Because you seem to have a method. <laughs> the proper way to eat this is to take a piece of bread uh -huh. and stick it on your fork, cover it in the cheese sauce, and let it soak. Okay, so you were saying this is the best fondue around? Ah, uh, yes, it yeah. is. I said I just got back from Switzerland, and the fondue here is better than Switzerland. And you were saying that the white wine, that's the way to go with fondue. Right. Um, wine and white wine and Swiss cheese fondue are they complement each other. Everybody has their own way of dipping fondue. Some let it soak while others simply dip, twirl, and eat. Mm. Whatever your style, here are a few tips before diving into your fondue. You want to get a good uh, lock on your bread on your fork. And then uh, tradition has it to dip it in the pot uh -huh. and uh, proceed with a figure eight so okay. you get your bread well coated. <laughs> Good job. And then if you lose your piece of bread, Libby, tradition has it that you're supposed to kiss the person to your left. I almost lost it. <laughs> and so then you just get to eat it, right? Yes. That's, that's just take a bite. All right. All right. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? That is just amazing. Mm. I could definitely eat a whole pot of that. Glarner Stuba classifies their fondue as an appetizer, but it could easily be considered a meal. If you're looking for an entree or even dessert, head to Cedarburg and stop in at August Weber House. So the whole focus is fondue, and I know you've got, you've got appetizers, you've got the, the main courses, and desserts as well, is that right? We do. So we have, the cheeses are great, and then the entree, as a main course, we have the, uh, the more kind of proteins and seafoods sure. and um, and then all the desserts which are chocolate based and served with anything from strawberries, pound cake, marshmallows, blackberries, raspberries, bananas, apples, cream puffs. Anything covered in chocolate right. is going to be good. It's kind of hard to like it. So. <laughs> Did you say cream puffs? Did I just hear that? We do have mini cream puffs. The cozy atmosphere at the August Weber House is ideal to share a pot of deliciousness with family and friends. And if your tastes are a little more adventurous, try a blue cheese fondue. I'm, I'm starting to be able to smell it now. <laughs> you will. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. And it'll get relatively thick. Um, we always tell people you're more welcome to cook while you're here. Try that if out, sure. If you want sure. to stir. Yeah, why not? That's the interactive part about it. Yeah. Just a few more minutes to get the proper melt and it's ready for dipping. No, the trick is try not to yeah. drip all over the place. You can't make a mess having fun, dude. <laughs> well, that's true. It's all part it. of it, isn't it? All right, here we go. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. Can they pay you for this? Mm -hmm. It's a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Now, fondue isn't found only in southern Wisconsin. We head a little north for our next stop. Hey, Libby. I'm here in Hudson, Wisconsin, my hometown. Pier 500, you can find great fondue all around the state. You ready to dig in? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Leave it to Colin to discover another great fondue. Good stuff. Want to learn how to make a great fondue at home? Head on over to our website for a quick and easy recipe. All right, Chef, let's get started. Great. Well, today but stay tuned because... Cheese, beer, bratwurst. It all comes together in one very special place. Coming up. Are you ready for more of Wisconsin's cheesiest foods? Right now on Discover Wisconsin, America's Dairyland. Would you argue with me if I said Wisconsin is best known for two things, artisan cheese and craft brewed beer? We're pretty sure there's a special place in heaven for people who combine the two. This leads us to our next destination. The Old Fashioned in downtown Madison serves up a traditional beer cheese soup in the style of classic Wisconsin taverns. It's made fresh daily and topped with popcorn for extra texture and taste. So Bob, 
We're the land of beer and cheese in Wisconsin. Why'd you put beer cheese soup on the menu though? What, what made you combine them? The combination of beer and cheese, are, these are the things that Wisconsinites seem to do best, other than perhaps eat it year round. Um, <laughs> regardless of temperature, season, um, you know, eating a, a bowl of hot beer cheese soup in the summer, not a problem. It seems to just sell year round. Gauging the temperature in the restaurant, beer cheese soup is definitely a hot item. Now, I'm telling you, this is cheese heaven right here. Wisconsin beer cheese soup, Wisconsin cheese curds. The only thing that's not Wisconsin is the Spanish paprika, but it's welcome here. Oh, how popular is the beer cheese soup? Um, it's become just a standard classic. Uh, years ago, we used to run it just on Mondays. It started out as just our, this was our Monday soup. It became popular, we did it every Monday. And it wasn't too long after that, you know, customers, customers demanded it more of the week. You know, they were constantly asking, so it came to the point just, we're gonna have it every day. So it went from soup du jour to soup every jour. <laughs> yes, basically. exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for a real old fashioned treat, hit the capital city for some great beer cheese soup, or head to another iconic Wisconsin city for its version of this delicious dish. There's nothing that says Wisconsin quite like Lambeau Field, so why wouldn't we find a great beer cheese soup in there? We're going to at Curly's Pub. Executive chef Cliff Johnson has crafted a true Wisconsin classic with his creation, which combines traditional Wisconsin ingredients like cheese, beer, and bratwurst. If I took it off the menu, it probably would be big trouble as far as phone calls and customer complaints as where, what happened to the soup, what happened to the beer cheese soup that's so popular. I usually sell about 10 gallons, 15 gallons a day. Now that's enough to feed a whole team. Hopefully there's a little bit left. See here the beer cheese soup is called the Cheddar Ale and Bratwurst Soup. That's what I'm going to have today. You all ready to go ahead and order? Yep. Sean, right. I'm going to do the cheddar ale and bratwurst soup. All right. And I think I'll do the Packers popcorn while I'm at it. Sounds good, man. Some house breaded cheese curds. Good Absolutely. choice. Absolutely. Although football season only lasts a few months, the Lambeau Field Atrium and Curly's Pub are open year-round for fans of the cheddar ale and bratwurst soup. All right. Cheese curds. Excellent. Yeah. Oh. There's the beer. Oh. Right. Yeah, man. Look at that. Thank you. Absolutely. Anything else I can get for you? Oh, I think I'm good. You good? Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at this. Just the way the soup's sitting on the bowl. Oh, man, I can't wait to try this. <laughs> wow. This is phenomenal. Sharpness of the cheese is right there. But this is, like, complex. I can taste the beer. I can taste garlic. There's vegetables in here. And uh, a hint of bratwurst. Ah. Oh. This is truly excellent. You gotta come to Green Bay, of course. Make your pilgrimage to Lambeau Field. But for the taste of Wisconsin cheddar, Wisconsin beer, you gotta come into Curly's Pub for this soup. No matter the season, it's always time for beer cheese soup. Visit all of these places yourself by logging on to discoverwisconsin.com and downloading a map by choosing Destination America's Dairyland. Up next. Mm. We're back in America's Dairyland, getting our fill of Wisconsin's cheesiest foods. So far, we've discovered mac and cheese, fondue, and beer cheese soup. What cheesy food are we missing? How about another childhood classic, the grilled cheese? Let's start this tasty adventure in Milwaukee. Here at Melthouse Bistro, they're all about the grilled cheese sandwich. Let's go inside and see what they've got. With a barn to bistro philosophy, Melthouse sources local ingredients and uses only the finest Wisconsin artisan cheese. Who could say no to a grilled cheese sandwich when it's made with real Wisconsin cheese? Not this guy. So hey man, I'm trying to decide between the uh, Sergeant Pepper and the Big Sal. What do you think? Well, Sandwich is ordered, and it's time to chat with the man who founded this farm-themed bistro. You guys feature gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches featuring some Wisconsin cheeses. So why did you choose to feature Wisconsin cheese? 
we figured what better state to do a gourmet grilled cheese sandwich restaurant than in the state of Wisconsin. We have so many great artists and cheese makers here in the state of Wisconsin, and this was a great way to kind of showcase all the different ways people can have a grilled cheese beyond just, you know, white bread and processed cheese, what they grew up with. Cool. That's a big sale for you? A big sale? Yeah. Fantastic. I'm hungry for a big sale. That looks amazing. Yes. This looks fantastic. Thank you can so I much. Else? Um, this looks like everything I would need right now. All right, nice. Yeah, thank you. Oh, man. This looks awesome. It does. It's one of my favorites, actually. I think I'm ready to taste a bite. Yep. Dig in. It's oh. the, I love the roasted red peppers uh, and green peppers that are on there. And mm. It's got such a great Italian feel to it. Yeah, like, it does. The big sale is where it's at. <laughs> and downtown Milwaukee is where Melt House Bistro is at. We highly recommend a visit if you're craving a delectable Wisconsin grilled cheese sandwich. You really don't have to look hard to find a great grilled cheese sandwich in this state. I'm excited to take you back to my hometown, Hudson, to visit Urban Olive and Vine for a sweet and savory grown-up sandwich. It's an adult grilled cheese, and it's on ciabatta bread. And it has um, Havarti cheese, Swiss cheese, Granny Smith apples, and honey. So there's only four ingredients. Four ingredients that work so well together that this item has stayed on the menu ever since they opened in 2010. So we put it on the menu for a little while, and once we did that, um, people kept ordering and ordering and ordering it. And so as a result, it became one of our staples. It's part of our core business, so it can't go away. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Still hungry for more? Let's travel a little further north to Delta. Yep, that's a town in Wisconsin and home to the Delta Diner, where you can choose a sweet or savory version grilled to perfection. It starts with the bread. So we, we can do a thick cut, and we fillet it, as you can see. It's still connected on this end. And then we layer cheeses with jalapenos. So you have sharp cheddar, you have uh, Havarti, you have Munster, you have another uh, sharp cheddar. Uh -huh. And then you have the tamed kind of pickled. And these are almost a candied jalapeno that goes in. And then a liberal amount of butter to, to brown it. Well, this one, same concept. It's the same bread. Flayed a little bit differently in that it doesn't have a flap. We make the, the mascarpone cheese. We have a secret as to how we get in in there. Okay. okay? And, um, and then this gets battered. And it's just a, a uh, it's kind of our standard in-house French toast batter. Uh -huh. And then again, nice hot grill and uh, hits the grill. That we're going to brown up at about the same time that that cheese uh, starts to, to starts to melt and, and get very creamy. But we, we we don't want it to liquefy. Okay. Okay. By the looks on the faces of these diners, these sandwiches, whether sweet or savory, are all satisfying. Now, when it comes to cheesy concoctions, Wisconsinites know how to make the best. And it wouldn't be possible without the dairy farmers who supply outstanding milk and the Wisconsin cheesemakers who continually create new varieties and flavors. I'm sure we'll never run short of ideas to make more of Wisconsin's cheesiest foods. Our state has a ton of unique destinations where you can find your favorite cheesy dish. I'll be searching for more of Wisconsin's cheesiest foods as we continue to discover Wisconsin. This episode of Discover Wisconsin, America's Dairyland, is brought to you by the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. America's Dairyland is your land. I could eat this whole thing twice. Yeah, yeah. I take two bites and I'm... T can't eat anymore. That is my first fondue in a restaurant. Really? Mm -hmm. For more information and bonus videos from this episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state. Absolutely fantastic. These are mac and cheese bites. Oh, I gotta tell my sister about these ones. <laughs>